Tchau. Get in here, get in here, everybody, get in here. Yes, get in here, get in here, everybody, get in here. It's time for a legendary shout. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Hold on. Okay. Are we here? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me for a minute? Can y'all hear me? Can we can we talk? My job, I'm on a timer. Because child, why would I start this story time and I know I gotta go to a shoot in, in an hour? But child. It's time to get into some things, child. I've been supposed to tell you this story about um, Paris for a minute. So I got to tell you this story, child. Um, so um, as long as you guys can hear me. Okay, y'all can hear me. Okay, so we live and shout out to y'all watching the show. Shout out to y'all going to catch the replay. But before we get into that, shout out to Garfield on my body right now, okay? Um, I want to give a shout out to Garfield. And uh, I want to shout out to our sponsor, okay, Fashion Nova for going ahead and sponsoring the Garfield t-shirt. Go ahead and get you one of these. You can click the link in the description in my description box below. So go ahead and get you uh, some of your t-shirts for the summer. I like this t-shirt. It's pretty cool. So um, shout out to Fashion Nova for the Garfield um, t-shirt. All right. So grab a cocktail. Grab your bleezy. Grab your drink. I'm going to drink water because um, I'm going to have, a, I'm gonna have a, a, a little single de Mayo situation a little bit later. Mm. Um, and let's get into this story time because I got we got to get into it like right now. So, child, so it all started in December. My sister, she was turning eighteen, and she really wants to go to Paris. She, like she loves fashion, she loves fashion, she loves clothes. We were supposed to go to Europe. I mean, uh, London. But then we just decided uh, just to go to Paris because it was some things going on with the with the bullet train, so we couldn't actually do London and Paris. But my sister, my my sister, one of my sisters, my second, well, she's the oldest sister, but she's under me because I'm the oldest child. Um, she lives in um, Israel, and so she's the international girl. She lives international. She does. She loves traveling international. So she's got all the passport stamps and she tries to get all of us to do the international stuff. Right. Um, she forces everybody. And then like, she'll buy your ticket. So she bought my sister's ticket and my mom's ticket, I think. Yeah. And so we, we partnered together. I said, okay, if you get the ticket, then I will pay for the hotel. Or did I pay for some of the ticket too? I don't know. I paid for, I paid a lot. I know I spent a lot. I don't know. I think I paid for the hotel. I paid for something. We basically went half for my sister and my mom to go to Paris for my sister's birthday. And we were going to have a good time. And then my sister that lives in um, Israel was going to meet us with her boyfriend um, for one of the days. So we were down there for like nine days. Now, the way that my, now my sister, she's the travel person. So she books everything. She, you know, just book it. Go, just book it. You just need to go. Don't think about it. You know, she's the one. She just books you and you go. So I'm thinking, okay, well, she's the travel girl. So she knows how to do this. She travels back and forth all the time. Um, so she's going to book everything. And so we left it to her to book. And but everybody knows how I am. This is my first time traveling like overseas, like super, super far. You know what I mean? Like 12 hours far. And so there's a certain way that I felt like I wanted to sit. Right. Um, and I, I had never done this before. So me and my little sister, we go travel together. My mom ends up on another flight. My mom gets there like hours before us. Just my sister booked it. So I was telling you how this happened. And so I sent them the money. Well, they booked, she booked all the flights and I, and I just paid her back, you know, the money. So me and my other, my, me and my little sister, we're on the same flight. Okay. Here's where it already starts. Where me and my, me and my sister lives in Israel. Um, me and Ashura, we start getting into it because now me and my little sister, we not even sitting together. Okay. Well, first of all, that's not even that. She don't even tell us when we when it's time to go, when we, we when we trying to go through the airport and everything. First of all, it's $75 a bag just to check. Or was it $175? I don't know. It was something close to $100 or $200 a bag just to check to go to, to France. So me and my little sister, we already gagging. Now, my little sister, you got to know something about my little sister. She is like a very much... She's a young girl, but she's very independent, very smart. And she's like, 
she's not going to want to, she doesn't like to accept help. Okay. So she's like, I got my money. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to do my content. Okay. And so big brother's going, but like, she's not going to let me just pay for a bunch of stuff. She's not going to let me just do things for her, you know? So I'll tell you about that too, a little bit later. So she's doing her, you know, so she's managing her money. You know what I mean? She's going to Paris. She's, she's planning on doing a lot of shopping. And so we get stopped at the gate because right off the rip, there are 75 and I got two bags. So it was 75, 75. Cause see, when I pack, I packs. Okay. Her bag was 75, but then she had got a little bit of a discount for something. I don't know how she got swung a discount, but she swung a discount. So we were already screwed. Now we wrote, we were, we were flying Air France. Okay. So we get there. Okay. Now we get on a, then we find out that we not even sit next to each other. And not only are we not sitting next to each other, we both in the middle seats in coach in the way back for 12 hours. I'm like, oh no, people really, I'm about to sit in the middle seat for 12 hours all the way in the back. Why would she book this like this? So now me, I'm like, why would she do this? Why would she not make sure I told her, why would she just book anything? But see the way that my sister is, she just doesn't tell you. She just believes just get on the flight and you'll get there. You'll be okay. It's just a few hours. 12 hours is a lot of hours. So, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, we not even sit next to each other? The lady goes, no. And I'm like, well, what can I do to upgrade it? There's nothing you can do. Um, we don't know. Maybe you can do something at the gate. So I'm trying to get up to the gate. And I'm going. And the people, and I'm thinking they speak English. And no, they don't. Even here, they do not speak in English. So, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. And I'm thinking upgrade, upgrade. And the French people are so rude. No, it's no, 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 no. I'm thinking upgrade. These people walked past me, didn't speak to me. It was a whole thing. So I'm like, okay, well, how can we switch it? Somehow we figured out a way to switch to see. I, I was on the plane now. But the, the whole plane is French people. So nobody's speaking English on the plane. So I'm switching. You got to know me. <laughs> Where should I switch? Switch? One switch? One switch? So then we switch. Somehow my sister got in the middle. Then we started sitting next to each other on the plane. Okay, so this is us finally setting up to go to Paris. Paris. Okay. So that's us right there. Get, we finally got the switch and we're on the way. Okay. And so the plane ride is fine. The problem is, though, you know, they, they give you the food or whatever, and they're stingy with the water. I'm asking, you know, when you ask for the water, you ding, ding. No English. This here. I'm thinking, water? Can I get a little water? It's coming. We come, we come, we come, we come around. You get, we, like, they have it timed out. But usually when you fly Southwest, America, whatever, you can just say, hey, I'm thirsty, and they'll bring you something. The lady told me to wait. Five hours had passed. She brought me a water, this much water. I swear to God, she brought me this much water. And I'm thinking, ma'am, I need more water than this. And I'm like, can you bring the bottle? We don't have the bottle, no bottle water. And kept walking. So I'm like, okay, I'm not flying this again. They're very stingy, very rude, very rude, very, 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 very rude. And I'm like, girl, these people, you know, and they just walk and bump you, five, five, you five, you five, whatever. And I'm like, okay, this is fine. Just let me just go to sleep, okay? So I go to sleep, you know what I mean? They bring the food, we eat a little bit. We finally get to Paris, okay? Um, but then we had to go buy chargers because you there's a European plug. So I'm trying to figure out all of that. We got to go through customs. It's a thing. They take our vapes. They take our stuff. They go through all of our stuff. Okay, cool. We get to Paris. Everything's good. We're having a good time. Okay. Now, mind you, my sister also booked the hotel. Okay. And I told her, I don't, we're not going to have a car. I don't really want to go too far. I don't want to be too far out, you know, but she's a firm believer. Oh, you know, and this the whole time she's telling us, 
oh yeah, you'll be right near the, you know, by the Eiffel Tower. You're riding, you know, riding the center of Paris, and you know, it's just a bus ride. It's just a little train ride away, and it's no problem. Now, mind you, I call my mama. She like, where are you at? I'm like, we finally arrived. My mama said, because my mama got, mind you, my sister booked this. My mama has arrived eight hours before us or something dramatic like that. Now, so my mom has to take an Uber to the hotel, to the, to the hotel where we stay in. And so my mama says, I said, mother, mother, you know, how much was the Uber? Well, the Uber was $100. Well, why was the Uber $100? Well, because we're an hour out of Paris. <laughs> An hour out of Paris? Why would she do that? Why would she book that like that? So now I'm just like, <laughs> I am so irritated. Because mind you, my sister, oh, we stay at this place all the time. We always stay there. Blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, I did, in, our, in all fairness, I did tell her I didn't want to pay her arm and a leg. I didn't mind paying, but I didn't think we was going to be an hour out. So we get there. The room is small. I'm irritated. They got my mom on the phone to bed. It's a little bed here. I got my own bed because I'm, you know, I'm being a little diva. I'm sent. Everybody's trying to keep their energy happy. I will say this, though. I really like traveling with my mom and my sister because I don't really like traveling with a lot of people because attitudes get real flary and real, you know. But when you travel with your family, like your sisters, with people you love, I don't know. I just really, I would do it again. I loved them. And we was all having our little moods. My mom, I love her to death because she always tried to keep the positivity. Me and my little sister, we, we was kind of getting into it. She was kind of getting on my nerves a little bit, and I was getting on her nerves a little bit. But then we still made it work. But anyway, so we get there a hundred dollars later after the Uber. We're way out of Paris. I don't know where we are. Okay. We're not in Paris no more. We're in some other town, but now we're living like the locals. So now we go and try to go out into the city. It's an hour train ride into the city in two degrees. Not only so it's a, it's a it's 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 a it's a it's a metro train. Then you gotta go to the metro station, okay? So it's like a little trolley, like a bus. We had to get on a bus thing, like, and then we had to go get to the metro just to go into Paris. So at this point, I'm mad because I'm like, girl, why would she book this like this? Now, mind you. She's coming in to meet us for a dinner for my sister's birthday. And she's staying right in the middle of Paris by the Eiffel Tower and, I, and the, the, the freaking me Mecca of Paris with all the buildings and everything. And, you know, you just walk out and you're at the Louis Vuitton store and you walk out, it's it's all, it's it. You, she doesn't even need a car. So I'm trying to think, well, how are you staying right there and you got us an hour out? So then nobody wants my negativity. So then, they're, well, we don't want your negativity. So she stops talking to me. And so she's not on, like, she won't talk to me. She's not, like, she's ignoring me. Because I'm talking, she's talking to my mama, but I'm talking to her through the phone. And she's talking back and she's, and, and we getting into it, but then everybody's ignoring me because I'm negative. Now, mind you, I'm jet lagged too. Okay. So we don't, we, you know, they're like 15 hours ahead. So we start turning up at like 10 o'clock at night, 11. We're like, we're ready to go out and be outside 10, 1, 1 in the morning. We're up, you know, because it's what, 7 o'clock here, you know, or 10 o'clock. It's time to get, you know. It's daytime here. And so we're trying to figure out things to do. And so this is when I realized Americans in the French are different. So, you know, me and my mom and my little sister, because my other sister hadn't made it yet. She came a few days after. So, you know, we're going around trying to figure out, you know, what we should eat and where we should go. And, you know, we had went and everybody's smoking and stuff. And so we had went, I think they had like these, 
I don't know what they are called. It's some little dessert kind of thing that they have out there. Um, oh, it's a crepe. It was a crepe. So we went to go have a crepe and I wanted to, you know, get a crepe. And so I'm ordering a crepe and the French man walks right in front of me as I'm standing there, smokes a cigarette, <laughs> blows in my face, vous rica, vous vous talking to the man, ordering his food as if I'm not standing there. And I mean, bloop. And I'm like, do you not see? Are you <laughs> going to blow this right in my face? I said, okay, maybe it's okay. That's fine. It's fine. Let's just find the food. Let's, I never had a crepe before. Let's go. So then we walked by a pizza place. The man said, come here. It's the best pizza in Paris. Oh, great. Love pizza. Me and my mom and sister, we going to have pizza. Pizza looked good. Pizza was good. Pizza was bomb. Okay. We ordered a big, I ordered like a pep. Well, they don't really have pepperoni. I don't know what it is. First of all, Let's be clear. It took them almost 30 minutes to help us because nobody spoke English. And see, I'm a big believer as to wherever I go. I don't care if it's Paris, Shanghai, Africa, Nigeria, Colombia, yeah, Spain, wherever. Somebody knows English if it's a tourist destination. I'm just a believer. And so I'm not going to try to speak French. So whenever the people come to me, they start talking. I say English, English. I need English. You speak English? <clears throat> My mom and them are looking at me like, why are you demanding these people to speak English? I'm not demanding nobody to speak English. What I'm saying is English. English. We need English. I need English. So understand English. I'm asking, they need to start to understand a little English. This is a tourist place. So somebody knows a little English. So my thing is English. No, I don't know that. English. And so... We're bartering back and forth. <clears throat> and guess what? We found English. <clears throat> and so we go and we get the English. And so we go get, I get, I order my pizza. My mama orders like a, my mama, she doesn't eat a lot of bread and a lot of meat. So she orders the soup. My sister orders a margarita, a, a margarita, a margarita pizza. My pizza come out. It's good. The soup come The drink come out. Well, first of all, I was asking for a drink. I got a drink, and we was asking for water. The cup was so dirty, like cloudy. This is when I started to know. The service is terrible out there. The lady looked at the cup. She picked the cup up. This is clean. I said, ma'am, I would like another cup. You don't need another cup. This is clean. This is clean. He said, it's clean. Ma'am, I don't want this cup. <laughs> this is clean. I see dirt. I don't want this cup, lady. She left the cup. Okay. So, I'm like, okay. So, now I'm eating my food. My food is good. The manager come. I'm, I need another cup. We finally get other cups, okay? They're closed. Now, this is at 10 o'clock at night, going towards 11 o'clock, you know. They're closing down the restaurant now at this point. We can see the chefs. We can see the chefs packing up, leaving, putting everything on. The chef then took the chef. He didn't throw on his leather jacket and his hat. He's out the door. And I'm thinking... What's going on? My sister still hasn't got her pizza. Hello? The pizza? And oh my, oh, oh, oh my God. So the chef runs up, takes everything. This is after 30 or 45 minutes. Turns all the lights back on, goes back in there and throws in the pizza. Brings the pizza out. We eat it. Okay, they have to wait till we finish now because they didn't forgot her pizza. They clocked out and was leaving, closed the kitchen and everything. So we, so now, okay, I'm like, okay, well, that was cool. This is night one. We're going to leave, pay it. 
You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go ahead and, 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 you know, and pay the leave. So, you know, what, what do we do here in America, right? Well, you know, it's time to pay. It's like $50, $60. My mom, she wants to pay. And I'm like, okay, well, so the pizza. So, you know, are you going to accommodate us? Because you guys literally closed the restaurant. And, you know, my sister didn't get a pizza. Now, the late, this is the lady with the cup that's charging us, right? She said, she ate the pizza. I said, what? She ate the pizza. Well, yes, she ate the pizza, but it was an hour late and y'all left. You don't think you should take anything off or comp the pizza? No. You paid full price. She ate the pizza. I said, oh, my God. Mind you, this is the lady we was trying to sit upstairs. She also told us we couldn't sit upstairs. So that lady charged us full price for that pizza and told us she ate the pizza. I'm thinking to myself, are you kidding me? I'm like, oh, my God. My mom's like, Armand, calm down. I'll just pay for the pizza. I'm like, mommy, it's not about paying for the pizza. Why would she charge us for the pizza? She ate the pizza. And everybody in the restaurant looking like she ate the pizza. So we had to pay for the pizza. So I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm going to go. We're going to restart in the morning. So pay it. Okay. And so the next day rolls around. We've been sleeping a lot. We were sleeping a lot, you know. And so we were, you know, getting out. We're having a good time. We're eating. You know what I mean? We're, we're in and out. Um, trying to do touristy things. Um, you know, this is us. This is us on the train. <laughs> trying to have fun on the train. Okay. On the trek back home. On our hour journey. We singing and on the train. Mind you. Mind you. We're, we're riding like the locals. We have no idea where we're going because everything is in French. And it's one and two in the morning and we're riding local transportation buses and trains and trying to read the signs in French. Okay. And so as I'm trying to navigate the public transportation in the metro, I'm walking up to everybody. English. English. How do we get Bonsoir, English? And so I got the translator app on. We're trying to figure out how to get back an hour on the public transportation in French. So, but we figure it out. Okay. So, that's my mom. This is my mom and my sister. I mean, this is my mom. Yeah, my mom and my little sister. This is my mom and my little sister. So, I was recording. So, we were just having fun on the train. Okay, so that's us. All right, TikTok and doing a Beyonce because we had a long ride. So we had a good time, okay? We're doing our thing. We're going to tourist attractions. We're having a good time. So then me, being me, I needed to break away. You know what I mean? My mom my sister did their thing a little bit, and I need to go see where the gays are, okay? So then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go get me an Uber into the city the next night, and I'm going to kind of do my thing. So, girl, now I'm in France by myself, me and my phone, and I'm going through um, France trying to figure it out. So, I meet some people um, at the bar, right? And so, we just start talking. I meet a couple of people at the bar. I meet some French people at the bar. I meet some Americans, some people from Chicago, some people from New York, you know. And so, we just start talking. We have a good time. Um and then we're trying to bar hop. But at some point, we had got put out of somewhere because we were too loud. I don't know what was going on. But we were walking down the streets in Paris. And, you know, apparently some of us were too loud. But, you know, whenever I go somewhere, I just, I'm the type of person that just makes the city my own. I had left my mom and left my sister. And, girl, I had went in to go meet people. Hey, very old. Say hi. Hello. We're in Paris. Hi. 
Now, that man was some tea. That man was some tea. Hi, if you're watching. This man was some tea. I won't go there, but he was some tea. Wait, say something in French, because I don't know. Paris. Bonsoir, Paris. Yes. Okay, yeah. That, whatever he That's said. Fact. Fact. <laughs> okay, eat, 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 eat. Whatever he so said. So I just right, met okay, these cool, people. One more time. We're on our way to the club. They're not even paying attention no more. At this point. Wish me luck, y'all. I'm out here in the middle of France. Carrying on. Are you okay? Okay. You look a little nervous. Okay. You say you need better than New York. Are you ready? Are you having fun? I am having fun. Oh, I'm from Chicago. That's not Chicago. What's up, y'all? What's, what's going on? Why are you so loud? Hey, yeah, because I'm. Black and I'm proud. <laughs> Black and I'm proud. Straight from Sasha. Ah, so mind you, he was from Chicago. I he was like a he remind me of somebody I know from Chicago. They had the same energy. And so, but he was nice, but he was extremely loud. And so we were getting put out of places because he was so loud. But he was a nice man. So we had got put in a group chat and we were hanging out and stuff like that. And they, we were just walking around France. I just met all of them that night. Okay. But the French people kept telling us to be quiet. We're too loud. And he was so loud. Okay. And so we were, we were trying to go into another place, but then at some point I wasn't I happy. I that we were too fucking loud. I that we were too fucking loud. Oh, did, we're not going. This is dead. I'm going to the other place. No, let's go back to the La Pet, the other one with the showers. This is dead. The one with the showers. Yeah, this is trash. I got a key. This is close. This so we went back to the red bar. Now the red bar, I can't show you pictures, but it's a shower. It's a gay bar. And they have a bunch of men in there, naked, dancing, prints. It's just a lot going on. Okay. Now, it's not all of them. But I have to say this. Something about some of the women and some of the men in France. Or the Paris, not all of them, because some of them smelled really good. But some of them people was funky. They was not wearing deodorant at all. Nobody gave a damn. There was no deodorant. And I'm thinking, even the women is funky. But anyway, so that was that. So we go back to the bar. We have a good time. It's great. You know, I have a good time. Take my Uber. Go back home. Beautiful time. Paris is a vibe. Okay, boom. Next day, my little sister, she wants to go out with me. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go out. So it was her 18th birthday. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take my little sister out. Um, and we're going to have a good time. So, um, but before that, we went shopping. You know, me and my mom, my sister, we went walking around. We went, we did the touristy things, right? Went to all the shops. Then it was time to go eat again got to follow me. It was time to go eat again. Go to this beautiful restaurant. Expensive. We eat. It's good. <clears throat> the server come up. Because we, we were done. Or I guess we didn't get up fast enough. But he was looking at us like, hurry up and get up. So somebody else can sit here. Like, hurry up. And I'm thinking, okay. No, not going to hurry up, but okay. You know. Then I said, can we take separate payments? Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to pay. Whatever. Then I said, okay, well, I need a to-go bag. You should have said something. I said, well, I'm telling you now I need a to-go bag. It's one to be one dollar. One dollar. I said, well, I don't have cash. Can you take a card? 
Yeah. You have wait one here. Wait. That man made me wait for like 10 minutes and charge me for a dollar. Charge me a dollar for a to-go box and bag. After we done ate and did all of this and and was tipping him and everything. And he and he was looking at us like, hurry up and pay. Hurry up. Hurry up and pay. Because he don't have time. He's got other things to do. So I'm thinking, okay. This is the second time. This is the second time. They're trying me out here with this service. So we go to the Cartier store. I wanted a Cartier love bangle. I was showing my mom the bracelets. And I was I was feeling, I was feeling like I was gonna buy one. They didn't even speak to me in there. I was like, okay, let me get up out of here before I go off on these French people. Okay. So walking around, having a good time. You know what I mean? It's a lot of black people, a lot of beautiful black girls, black boys, um, very exotic looking people in, in Paris. We're having a very good time. We go to the Eiffel Tower. Um, my mom and my sister, they went to the museum. It was just, it was really, really nice. Okay. We had a really good time. Me and my mom and my sister, we went to another little bar. It was cool. We were starting to get the hang of the trip. We went shopping. It was just, it was a really good experience for us. And, you know, we were having fun. We were bonding. We were talking. We were laughing. So the vibes were right. Okay. And then, so my mom was a little tired. My sister wanted to go out with us, with me. And so I was like, okay, are you ready to go to the gay bar? And she was like, well, yeah. I'm like, well, you know, the gay, but I had never went out with my sister before. You know, she's 18. And I'm like, girl, the gay bar is something different. So I don't know if you're going to be ready for this. And she's like, I've seen, I've been to gay bars before, Armand. I've been. So, and in pairs at 18, you can drink. So I took her out. Um, Where is she at? I took her out to the bar for the first time. No, no. no, that ain't that one. No, that was later on. Hold on. I'm gonna get I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you guys the tea. Hold on. Uh oh, I don't think I have it on here. Um hold on. Oh, here it goes. So we go there. Okay, ready? Shot. Shot. Perry. Oh damn. Perry. Oh, that's that's the song. Perry. So we get a little tipsy. Now the boy in here, he was nice. He was just a little different. He was a little weird. He was he was from America, though. But he was like one of those that always had to one-up you. See, he was feeling some type of way because we was getting a lot of attention. And people were talking to us. And he was talking about how he, he was like, you don't know any French? I said, no. I guess he had studied all of this French and to, to come to Paris, right? And I would just walk up to people and say English. And they would speak English. To me, they would they would figure out something in English and understand. And he goes, well, you're just walking up to people speaking in, and demanding English and they're speaking to you. And I and I sit and I learned all this French. OK, he's the type of person that, you know, and I like him, but he was just the kind of person that if you told him that you like to fly, he would tell you, oh, great. My dad's a pilot. And you say, well, my dad's a pilot, too. Well, my dad's actually an astronaut. You know what I mean? One of those guys. And so he was nice. But he was a little different, right? And so this was a white bar, but I was trying to find the black people. So I'm on here like, okay, where's the black bar? Where are the black people? Where's the after hours? What's the tea? The clubs and stuff don't close to five and six and more. So we found it. So he like, we going to the black bar. I'm ready to turn up. I'm ready to turn up. I'm ready to turn up. So we get to the club, get to the bar, get to the after hours, get to where the black people are. Child, it's an automatic. They make you do a coat check. I'm like, well, why have we got to do a coat check? You know, here, coat check for us is part of the outfit. They like, no, you have to take the coat off. I'm like, sir, I cannot take this coat off. This is part of my look. They got a big black straight security guard there. Um, my sister, she takes, she like trying to flirt with the man. I think she liked the man because I'll tell you more about this in a minute. But he makes her take the coat off. She checks the coat. 
for some reason, they didn't have any like Patron or nothing like that. They had just, I don't, vodka. That was it. So the guy, the, the, the guy comes with us. He's immediately uncomfortable. He keeps talking like he's ready to, he's ready to go. It was too many blacks in there. He's too many blacks in there, you know, but he's black. But anyway, somehow he ended up leaving. Zion our child. So me and my sister, we drinking Red Bulls and tequila. I'm starting to feel myself in the club. She's starting to feel herself. I look over and she all in the security guard. Fa- <laughs> give me my coat and give me my coat. <laughs> and I'm like, this is so awkward. Like, girl, get over here. But I don't want to be that brother. So I'm just like, let her have fun because she is like in the gay bar, whatever. I don't know. But I could pe- I could feel people like gleaming down, staring at us. And so we just started drinking and we just started saying, you know what? Pay it. We're in Paris. I'm, f- I'm about to start having fun. So we started paying it. And this was us. I'm going to turn. So this is her. Uh, that's, look at me, anywhere I go, I'm on the speaker next to the DJ. I'm paying it at this point. I don't care. It's the Armand Wiggins show, international. Who gives a damn? So then, the men start just coming up, getting their life. So then they invite us into the VIP with them. And it was cute boys, okay? Cute boys in Paris. Okay, so then we in the VIP with the boys in Paris. It's giving what it's giving. Okay? We in Paris. So we in Paris with the boys. So I'm paying it at this point. I'm full. I'm drunk. We having a time of our lives. Okay? I done took over Paris. At this point, I'm paying it. I mean, I'm, I'm, is we going up, going crazy? Like, that's just a little bit of the video. We are going crazy in that club. I'm all through the VIP. My sister's all over the place. We're doing shots. We're doing hookah. Then the people started feeling some type of way because we was get, I was getting a lot of attention. And one man, like, kind of like tried to bump me. And I'm like, oh, girl, the, the French man is feeling away because I guess I don't know one of the boys was that he was liking was kind of like looking at me or whatever. I don't know. But I'm like, it's me and my little sister here, girl, and I, we're all the way in France. And I just don't, I can't, you know, we can't do this. So my sister, she, she I never, see, I never been out with her like this. But the man keep coming by me, like, girl, giving a lot. And I'm like, I'm paying it like, girl, I'm not here. My sister goes and kicks the man, like, kick at the man, like, right in, in his face, like, back up, like, like a high kick in the face. I'm like, oh, my God. If this man reacts to this, I'm, we, we're going to die here. Because I, if he hit my sister, we're going to fight. She kicks right in the man, like right here, like back up. Like, cause she felt like they was hating on me because when I, when I tell you, I, when I pop out, I pop, like, I, I don't, once I get, I'm not shy. I'm not really scared. I go where I go and girl, I, I'm not, I'm Armand wherever I go, Paris, Mexico, wherever I just, I just, I pay it. I'm here. So, girl, I just, when I go in, I just, girl, it takes over. And so people were feeling some type of way. Because, girl, I'm in France. I'm playing, like, play Nicki Minaj. Play tomorrow, too. I'm going up to the, the DJ. Bonsoir, bonsoir. And, you know, I'm riding with my twin of them. And we all look good. And I'm all on the stage. She said she my eye, but I don't know. I had to look it up. So I'm doing all this. You know me. I, my, it's just me. I'm all, I'm here with it. All on the stage. In Paris. Like it's my city. <laughs> and I, wow. All in Paris. Okay. 
And these people is looking at you like, who is this? Who are you? She bought a chain. I bought the same one even bigger. You know, I'm giving all of that. I don't care. I'm drunk. I'm outside. I'm in, I'm in France. It's bad. So I'm like, okay, we probably better reel it back in. So I'm like, okay, let's reel that back in and let's go. Okay. So we ended up having a great night. Um, ended up catching an Uber. Now, mind you, I wasn't doing that public transportation. Ubers were $65 to and from each back. So that's like $120 a day. Okay. So boom. So now, now, now it's the next day. And I think I went to go get some McDonald's. Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm telling the stories out of sequence, but it doesn't matter. I went to McDonald's because you're going to get to the point where I almost went to jail. I went to McDonald's. Paris McDonald's is different. They have actual glass, silk, the glass, they, and they serve you the food. So they got like glass, like cups and glass plates. Like they actually have plates and cups. So I'm trying to figure out how to order my food and why my food is not coming. But everybody speaks French and I'm trying to get English. Because I need, I need English. I can't read the menu. It's in French. I need English. Nobody speak English, so nobody want to take my order. I finally get my order taken. They're taken forever with my order. They done forgot. They done lost my order. But what happens is people take the order, and then they go and sit down, and the people bring you out the food. The Lord wanted me to see this. I kid you not, I promise to God on my life, I swear to you, the, the, the girls, they're making the French fries and the food. Da, 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 da. Best fries, and they're getting the ladies' foods and stuff together. And, and then she's putting the fries and putting the, putting the hamburger and stuff on the food. And she calculating with the manager and getting the food. I'm irritated because I'm like, where's my food? And she, who's that, who's that, who's that? And she ha ha woo ha woo ha and take the fry, eat a fry, pick the tray up, and take it to the lady. I said, I know you lying. Did she just pick up a cup of fries and eat the off the lady fry plate and take it to the lady? I'm not doing this out here. I'm like, no. And so now I'm on edge because if she do that with my food, I swear to God, we going off because I, because they keep trying me at these restaurants. I don't know what this food service tea is, but it's too much and it's sending me. Okay. Um, don't touch my French fries. Don't touch my food. Don't talk over it either. Don't have a full conversation. This Don't do that. And be casually eating some of my fries and then going to take it and deliver me my food. Don't do that. Don't do that. So I'm gagging that that just happened. And it was like normal. And I'm thinking, I know you're lying. Because if that happens right now, this is over. This is over. I'm out of here because I'm going to lose my mind. Thank God they see my, this is my food right here. Thank you. Got my food, whatever. Boom. So we chilling, you know what I'm saying? Um, we go, now my sister gets into the town and uh, my other sister, she comes into town. Or no, did she come into town at this time? Yeah, she came into town for a little bit. <clears throat> and then we went to the dinner. The dinner was beautiful. I should have took some pictures. I don't have no pictures, but the dinner was beautiful. And y'all don't need to see all that anyway. Um, but the thing is, my sister, what is she now? She, she, she only eats Jewish. I don't know. It's like a, she only eats at the Jewish place. Like she doesn't eat meat and dairy together. She only eats meat. So she don't go to places where they have meat and dairy. It's just, just a thing. So she only eats meat and something else, but they can't serve dairy. 
So, but my other, my little sister, she's like, well, I don't want to eat at that kind of place. Yeah, she's kosher. So she's like, well, so I want to eat at the regular place where they have everything. So anyway, we go eat at the non-kosher place. Now, this is my this is my sister, the one that's kosher. Her boyfriend's sitting right here. This is her first time I'm meeting him. Honey, I'd have another drink. Thinking, okay, I'd like a I'd like a drink. I'd like some tea, honey. The lady brings the tea down. It's a tea kettle. We bring the tea kettle. I'm sitting right here. My sister's sitting right here. Her boyfriend's sitting right here. This is the tea. This is the teacup right here. The lady brings the tea kettle right here. My sister's sitting right here. I'm sitting right here. My sister's talking and yes, and you know, I'm glad you guys were able to make it. And this is such a beautiful place. She lifts the tea the tea kettle up because it's too heavy. Honey, can you pour the tea? It's quite heavy. And so he's pouring the tea. And I live for it. Like, no shade. I live for, I live for that for her. I live, I love that for my sister. She ate that. Not going to be a hater. But in my mind, I'm thinking, this is why I do not date women. I'm not. You mean to tell me you lifted the tea kettle over the glass to have him pour it? So you couldn't have poured it? Because it, you had to do that. I'm like, yeah, this is why I don't date women. Because what? And he poured it. And I love him for pouring it. You should do that. You should treat her that way. Absolutely. But as in me, in my mind, I'm gagging like, girl, what? I would have told her, pour it yourself. You know what I mean? But anyway, just thank you, honey. And I'm over here like, what? But whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, you know, but that's how she is. That's how she rolls. That, that, that's my sister. She's very bougie like that. That's what she gives. And her man loved it. So I'm not hating. So we have the dinner. Everything goes great. We have a good time. Um, then, you know, her boyfriend loved him. Put Pulled out his card and paid for all of our food. I'm thinking, well, I don't need you to. Now I'm almost offended. I don't need you to pay for me. No. She goes, well, he's going to take care of it. I'm like, well, girl, well, Lord, I can pay my own food. Now, you ain't finna just come just pay for everything for me either now. So he did it. I'm thinking, well, now I'm starting to feel away. Don't, I don't need you paying for my shit. Pay my own food. <laughs> Look, now I'm mad. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I'm like, okay, whatever. So anyway, we do that. We have a good time. We chilling. We chilling. My sister, you know. So then this is the thing, though. My sister, that one, whenever she sees my mom, my mom has to do braid her hair and stuff. So sometimes she'll fly all the way here for my mom to braid her hair. So she'll fly from Israel to 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 San Francisco for her to, for her to get her hair braided. Cause my mom so or then she'll fly my mom to Israel to braid her hair. So or she'll fly my mom to to Paris to braid her hair. So now they're going to the to the to the to the weave in the weave shops. In France, and they calling me because I'm not going to that. They, they got all the wigs and all the hair here. So now my mom, now my mom is supposed to be on vacation, but now she's braiding hair because my sister has to have her hair braided. So anyway, so that's what they do. So okay, I'm fast forwarding, so I got to get through it because we got to we we got to wrap this up. So anyway, we have a good time. We're hanging out. We're going. My sister ends up leaving. I'm hanging out with my other little sister. Um, that night, we end up going out again. Girl, I meet this man from um, from from London. He, he was nice, older white guy. You know, we uh, we get we get a hookah, we get a bottle syrup, we get a, oh no, we got a hookah. They ended up moving. They ended up seeing me there. Some of the promoters or the security, they ended up moving me to the to the to the stage to the VIP. So I call my mama. And my sister and some lady that they didn't met, because my mom is just meeting random people 
and bringing them and tagging them along to the trip. Don't even get me started. My mom just meets people, makes people. Then they start talking about feminine stuff, you know, in France. You know, you, you got an extra this, you got an extra that, whatever. She's crazy. So then the, the, they met another black girl. Now the black girl's going to dinner with us. She's going to lunch with us. We having a great time. So then they all going to the, now they all at the club with us, but I don't know if they're in this one. Um, but then somehow, you know, we all end up at the party at the club and we in the VIP. Um, hold on one. So now they got us in the VIP. You understand the process. Girl, I'm not sitting down there, girl. You understand the process. It's a bad bitch in the city. And they understand the process. The process. So now I they got me. So now now and I and I and I done went about $150. Bottle of Patron at this point now. Y'all done got me up here. Now I'm buying bottles of Patron. So now I'm off my, I'm off my, I'm gone. Okay. We met some more Americans. We turned up. That was a legendary night. That was a legendary, iconic night. We just started meeting people. It was just a lot going on. People was carrying. It was a carry in that club. It was just, my mama was in there. My sister was in there. Then they left because they felt like wasn't no men in there looking at them. <laughs> so they left. So then it ended up getting an Uber home, whatever, whatever. So then the next day, so mind you, so we're doing a little, um, so we're doing, so we're doing some shopping. We're doing some shopping and we're about to go eat later that night, but we're doing some shopping and I'm walking and these people are walking so slow. And so we're walking through the mall or whatever. And then I don't know, I guess I actually bumped a lady or whatever. And she, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, well, I don't know what she, and then my mom was like, it's okay. I'm so sorry. She cursed me out in France so bad. It was so nasty to what she had said to me. And I'm like, you know what, mama, these people are so rude. So we ended up, you know, going to eat. Now, this is because now me and my sister had kind of got into it because we, we had left out of Paris and went to another area. But she was being hard headed because she just had to go get content down this street. And I'm like, girl, ain't no lights down this street. But she just had to walk that way. And I'm like, girl, I'm not chasing her. I'm going to go this way. And so I went this way. She went that way. And we went whatever, whatever our ways we went. And my mama went with me because my mom already knew wasn't nothing that way. But my sister was just being hard headed and she wanted us to leave. She was over us. So I was like, okay. And so... Which in it leaves us here. Okay. It leaves us here at the glacier. Now, this is where it goes down. Leaves us at the glacier. So, me and my mama, we're chilling. I say, Mom, you know, I want to get a hamburger and get some fries. My mama gets a little something, whatever she got. I order the food and I order the burger. And the, the 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 guys from me was like from the Ukraine or somewhere like that next to me. And so I got a burger. It was a cheeseburger. The burger was this big. It looked like an old, like, I don't know, something like, you know, there was one of those ran over burgers. Mind you, it was $20, $30. It was something real expensive. Not, nothing on it. Dry, flat burger. It was just whatever, right? And I eat the burger. And I'm like, this burger. And I said, no, no, I said no mayo. I said, that's what I said. I said, no mayo on the burger. No aioli, nothing. No, no onion sauce, nothing with a mayo base. I know I don't do anything with a mayo. I know my mayo. I know it. I said, please, no mayo, nothing mayo base, nothing like that. So they bring me the burger. I take a bite. It's the onion aioli, babe, mayo, something. It's white. I'm like, I don't want this. Sir, there's mayo on this. This is not mayo. What do you mean? This is not mayo. I said, sir, it's like an aioli. This is not that. No, 
this is not, you don't know, this is not that. Sir, I don't want this. I don't like this. Sorry, this is not that. You ordered that. I said, well, I don't want it. I want something else. This is nasty. I don't want it. You have to eat it. You ordered it. If you get something else, we charge you for that too. I said, no, you're not. This is nasty. I don't want it. This is not nasty. Nasty. No, this, my mama's sitting there. My sister's in here by the time I'm getting enraged. I said, I don't want this anymore. You have to eat it. Eat it. I'm not about to eat this. This is nasty. I don't like it. This is mayo. He goes to the back. This is not mayo. This is mayonnaise. I know what mayonnaise is. It's a mayonnaise aioli. And, and you know what? Even if it's not mayonnaise, I don't like it. Get me something else. You know what that man did to me? I swear to God. It's good to me. Nothing wrong with this. Not male. You have to eat it. And you have to pay for it. You have to pay for this. I said, I know. I said, sir, I will slap the, f I said, mama, 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 am I relax, relax. I said, did this bitch just eat my, and then tell me I'm about to pay for this? I know you mother and lying. I said, I will go to jail of this motherfucker. He ate the food and told me it was good. He ate the burger in my face and said, this is good. And then charged me for it. When I tell you, my mama talking about, let's just pay for it. I said, mama, I'm not paying for shit in here. He said, pay for it. I said, this burger is nasty. I'm not paying for this. You ate the burger. I'm not doing it. I said, call the police. Call the police. Now I'm, now I'm loud. Call the police. Call the police. I'll go to jail today. I'm going to talk. He talking about. He told me, now he don't want to talk to me. He told me, can you come here? Can you talk to my mama? My mama told me, Armand, just calm down. Just calm down. I said, mama, you're not paying for this. Do not pay for this. I'm not paying for this. We will sit here. She told me, you can't do this shit here. You can't do this shit here. Get, sit, calm down. I said, did you see what he just did? And then I'm looking at the man. The man is looking, the white man. He looked back. The beggar is nasty. And then the man got offended. I said, he even said the burger was nasty. You know this burger is nasty. And you ate the damn burger. Sir, you have to pay. Then he walked away and come back. I said, I said, if you come over here and you say something crazy, I swear to God, I'm going to throw this whole plate in your face. You better back the, I like, I'm cursing now. I'm like, you better back. Like now, I'm like, you better back up. Because now I'm ready to fight. Because don't do, don't, now I'm pissed. So, child, my mama gets up. She pays for it. She just, whatever. I'm like, okay. And you know what that man did after that? She paid for that. He came and brought me some cookies and told me to have a nice day. And we paid full price for all the food, even after he ate the burger in my face. <laughs> Girl. So if you haven't been following, the moral of the story is the customer service in Paris, France is trash. So don't go there expecting good customer service and don't ever go to this restaurant and think if you don't like something, you're going to return it. Don't ever do it. And then after that, child, we tried to go see an opera. My mom told me, how the hell you want to go see an opera? You just almost cursed. You cursed this man out and almost went to the jail in here. Now you want to go see an opera. But anyway, that was my Paris tea. Um, along, it was a beautiful place. I loved hanging out with my siblings my, and my mom. There's more to the story. Maybe I would do a part two because then... My mom couldn't get home. It was just a mess. But um, 
We're going to lock it in right there. Paris was fun. Shout out to all the people I met in France. Um, but yeah, the customer service, it's a foe. It's a foe. And they are rude. But yeah, child. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And um, I will see you in the next video. All right. Peace out. Oh, let me see. Do I have anything else to show y'all? Uh, I know. We out. Love y'all.